welcome everybody to uh, the first episode of the spooky season. Ooh. And uh, if you couldn't tell by that, I'm not alone today. Uh, today I'm going to be joined by uh, my brother from another mother. Uh, I'm talking about none other than my boy, my Bolgia. What's going on, everybody? Right, shut up, Nurgle. But yeah, what's going on, everybody? Hopefully, everybody's uh, doing pretty goddamn good. Like I said, it's the start of the spooky season, so we're gonna lean into that. So, fucking. Before we get any farther into the show. We have a tradition at the top of every show. We take a shot. We take a big old drink of our drink. Chug a beer. Whatever we got near. You ready? Yes, sir. Listen to me, drink. <laughs> Three, two, one. Ah, smooth. Smoothest glass. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, fucking... It is the start of October, and that can only mean that we lean in to that, and uh, uh, let's uh, talk about some fucking movies. What are with everything straight? So, <laughs> yeah, luckily all the trash movies from last year that they were able to squeeze out before the the great the great depression of Hollywood writers bitch you ain't no nerd <laughs> I could have swore you weren't I could have swore you was <laughs> but yeah fucking uh, I saw a trailer for it uh, maybe like at the start of last month and at first I was like, is this what I think it is? What the fuck is this movie? And it's a horror movie, obviously, because tis the season. And uh, apparently it was, uh, I guess, a sequel slash reboot of The Exorcist? Oh, yeah. It's a sequel. Yeah. And like a soft reboot, I guess. Uh, well, uh I don't know how you go out spoilers. I know a little bit about it. Uh, uh, I don't know too much about it. I, I'm the, curious the, the, to see the, it. They're trying trying to connect it to the original by having uh, one of the characters from the original movie come out in this one. And then, of course, they're mentioning that like this is not the first time somebody gets possessed. So yeah. they're totally referencing the original. So it, it's not a reboot because they're referencing what happened in the original. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. It's not a reboot, but it, it's. I, I think what happens is they're ignoring everything that came out after the first or second everything. one. Yeah. Yeah. So the like they're, all the other ones don't exist because they're just representing like one exorcism, mm -hmm. which is the original. That's it. Yeah. Well, this one is called the Exorcist Believer, and it's in theaters now. Ah, uh, this. <clears throat> mm, well, yeah. I think the midnight showing. I think it starts tomorrow. The first thing starts or tomorrow. Today. But... today at midnight. Yeah, yeah that's for today. Uh, so, fucking, when I saw the trailer, I was like, ah, oh, why, though? But then when I saw the little girls, I was like, ay, no! No me gusta! <laughs> that's, it looks bad. I dude, hard. I hate the way they make little fucking girls look so demonic, dude. Well, it, that's what makes it creepy. That's what I know, it dude, it's like... fucked. <laughs> like, movies usually never creep me out. Especially these older ones, right? But I don't know, man. There's just something about fucking little kids being possessed that it just fucks with me. I guess. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, yeah, but uh, so apparently I'm reading an article from CNBC and it's the headline is The Exorcist Believer and Hispanic Audiences. A match made in horror movie heaven. Now, I don't know shit about what's going on with this movie or how it ties into Hispanic people. Right. I don't, I don't know how that goes on this. On this, the girls are Hispanic. But uh, I, I think it's think... more to do with the religion aspect. 
Um, and Hispanics are. All the religious. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Give me a young priest and an old priest. Give me a Hispanic priest and a uh, Cuban priest. Yeah. What are you hey, doing, coño? coño? Get out of the hey, little coño. girl, hey, coño! Get out of the little girl, motherfucker! Hey, slapper! <laughs> <laughs> They need to do like so fabulous and so big. Yeah, yeah, and like a a fucking a dead chicken and shit. Uh, oh, wait, no, that's right. voodoo, right? Fuck. I got to to sangre. Dame tu poder, gallo. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Fucking yeah, I guess it is the whole faith aspect. But yeah, I don't know, man. The last time I saw. Uh, I was talking to a buddy of mine. Uh, shout out Breezy. He's a zombie. Uh, he was uh, in town, and we were talking. We were talking about movies and shit. And I don't know if you've seen it. It's on Netflix. It's called Archive Eighty One. No, I haven't heard of it. And the the concept or whatever. I think it's like a mini series. Maybe it's a movie. I don't remember. It's been a while now. But, uh, like, this guy, the main character, he's a tape restorer, right? So he tape he restores uh, any old kind tape. of old film or tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's a restoration, apparently, master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, like, one of the best at doing it or whatever. So they hire him. They don't tell him what the tapes are. They tell him that he doesn't have to take notes on anything. Just make the tapes watchable again, right? Because they were in a big fire or some shit. And I'm not going to go too far into it, but uh, there's a a scene in later on where there's a Hispanic lady, and uh, I don't know, man. I don't want to give away too much. I, I've talked about it before, so I don't even remember what episode that was. So fucking, I guess that's homework for whoever wants to find out what episode that was. And I don't know, like the Hispanic lady, I guess was a seer or whatever. And she saw something that she couldn't unsee, so she, like, started scratching at her face, fucking violently, like, no, no, no quiero mirar, no quiero mirar. And then she starts freaking out, dude, like, ah, ah, fucking clawing at her face. Fucking traumatizing, dude. That's crazy. That's like my abuelita, dude. Like, I fucking know Mexican ladies that are like that. I don't know, like, just that little, that little bit, like, hit home in such a, like, extreme way it freaked me out i was like oh, la verga. i feel weird now <laughs> I, I know it's I, not real but goddamn grandma why'd you do that well, so, uh, i guess you're the target audience i guess uh, yeah they got me good with that one yeah but like the series itself was pretty good but that part like really captivated me man i was like holy fuck and also on netflix there's another there's another movie that's very like Hispanic uh, based. I think it takes place in Mexico or some shit. And it, again, that one's also like a bruja and some chick shows up to her and she's possessed or something. And the fucking the movie's called The Old Ways. So oh, okay. w w with that being said, uh you you can let your imagination run with how old ass oh, brujas used to yeah, do. Yeah. I used to do their thing, how they would lay it down, you know? Yeah. Old school style. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one is pretty decent. It's not the best, but it's a good watch. But yeah, you said you were going to go to the movies coming soon. Yeah, I was going to go watch uh, The Exorcist. Um, see how it sets up to the original one. So I've seen all of them, and like, I hardly remember the the sequels. I think pretty much because they were probably trash. Oh, they were dog shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the first two, and then the rest you don't need to see. Like when they go to Egypt and all that shit. Oh uh, yeah. It's too much. But yeah, I don't know. I thought that was interesting that they apparently say that the new Exorcist is going to be a uh, more Hispanic people to go watch it. But I guess it makes sense. But yeah, you were gonna. You told me you were gonna go see the Meg, the Meg Two. Oh, I'm not gonna go see it. I, oh, you're gonna watch it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Streaming services. 
Well, this movie is not a Halloween movie or like a, I guess a spooky well, movie. Know, it's, 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 it's kind of, it's gory. It's, uh, uh, I don't even know what kind of movie I would take. It is. Yeah, how do you classify that? I think you have to classify it as horror. It's I, not I, a drama. I'm going to say it's like a sci-fi suspense maybe. Let's look it up. It's not really sci-fi. Sci-fi would have to be like science. This is Let's just, see. I don't know. Well, I mean, it is a lot of science. Let's see. Uh, oh, it's science fiction action film. That's what they're. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, it is action. That's true. It's got Jason Statham. He's uh, gonna go into the trench. He's gonna go eat the egg. He's gonna go get a big bowl of shark fin soup <laughs> with the egg. Do you know what? Probably is science fiction. Probably like Jason Statham has like a like like a huge like. Soup of like like a submarine that has you know that can go out into the water, go into the air. Have, like... have you ever seen the Meg? Yeah, I saw the Meg once. So then, yes, ago. the first one they most definitely have like super advanced aquatic maneuverable yeah, vehicle like or they're, whatever the fuck. They're super fast. Yeah, they're super the, like they're like planes, but in the water. The water, yeah, and they're like small compact, and they can take like a, like a huge beating. Yeah, like, they, yeah, they can fucking. Man. They can hit landmines underwater and shit and be completely fine. It'll just do like a small little crack. No, no, not even. It'll just push it to the side. <laughs> like a little bit of turbulence or some shit. Yeah, right. Well, it, Whoa, it, if, if you get past the, like, the absurdity of the whole premise, which is kind of hard, I give you, give, I'll give you i give you that. But like if you kind of just switch your brain off, uh, it's pretty right. good fucking dumb fun movie. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just something like like when I watched it, I was drinking and I was like, I wanted something dumb, and I knew yeah. what it was. I mean, it's a huge shark. Like, it's a, a, a ridiculous premise. Like, the, it's a uh, megalodon. It, it has been living all this time. It like, managed in, to stay alive, hidden right? from it humanity. Because it had its own like uh, ecosystem. Yeah, 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 yeah. With animals that it could eat to survive, because the megalodon has to obviously if it's huge, it has to eat. A whole a bunch of shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah it, it that part is kind of fucking stupid, but if you suspend your disbelief for a, a little bit, it's it's almost enjoyable. It's pretty nah, it's enjoyable. And I mean, yeah. I'm not being well, a bitch well, about it, it. It, it. It's much better than the, the movies you used to get like in the eighties where like something would happen, like an explosion would, would happen and like let's see like there was like like a small crack in the volcano and some monster would come out that was there for thousands of years. With no food source, you know. It, it was like, dormant, duh. I still like you need something. I no, mean, uh, it's dormant. It doesn't. Now we wait. Uh, <laughs> I know. Like, I, 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 I would much rather know that there's like a huge thing, ecosystem down there that 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 some creatures survived thousands of millions of years just on on the fabric they yeah, had. Yeah. 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 Excuse me. But yeah, fucking... Uh, there's not really too many movies that are coming out that I'm like, fuck yeah, I want to go see that. Uh, what the fuck? What? What, what is coming out? Um, yeah, I'm going to look that up. Movies coming out in 2023. Oh, it's, oh there's still one of uh, isn't there's one of Leonardo DiCaprio and he's like a mobster or something. Oh, yeah, it's like the 20s or some shit. Yeah, something like that, yeah, yeah. <sighs> change that the hunger games craven the hunter yeah. ill oh that's next year uh, well uh, the hunger games is like it, it's a prequel like i don't know like 20 30 years like it just feels like 20 30 years like before the first hunger games so it's a totally different like a different setting i think it's when they were really starting to do the hunger games yeah 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 well, there's uh, there's Pet Cemetery. They're doing that one again. Again? I, they, yeah. Didn't they already do a reboot on that? I don't know. But it's, it's... Yeah, they did already. I'm pretty sure they did a reboot a couple of years ago. And this is like a continuation of that reboot series. Yeah. The, uh, the one that you're talking about is Killers of the Flower Moon. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Got De Niro and shit. Brendan Fraser? What the fuck? 
It's got uh, Meth Damon. And of course, like Crib and the Hunter, like they're like they're going real real fast and loose with the source material. Because in this one, I think he's at the worst, he's an anti-hero. He's, he's not like a villain. And at best, I think in this movie, he's the hero. Craven so is the like dude an, that wore like the gay yellow vest, right? Yeah, like a lion dress, I think, or like a puma some or some shit. Vest. Yeah, it's got like leopard it's, print or some shit. Yeah, yeah, we'll probably try a leopard then. Craven. Fucking the other day, uh, Papi Ray sent me apparently back in the back in the late or early 2000s when it was popping underworld they they uh-huh. wanted to do a tie-in with blade oh yeah, yeah but oh, Mar- yeah, that. marvel didn't let them or some shit that would have been crazy yeah that would have been crazy that would have been pretty sick actually i wonder how do you think like 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 the new blade will, will be terrible this thing they're gonna like like really like uh, clean it up and really like sanitize it down make it really fucking boring yeah yeah that's that's what I think you meant <laughs> yeah make it uh boring and uh what is the word uh, uh what is the word when you can like see it coming uh predictable oh, yeah predictable yeah I'm gonna assume that's what the new blade is like because I don't know if you've realized in the last couple of years Hollywood writers suck dick. They're horrible at their jobs. I don't I honestly I don't think it's the writers. What I think it is, it's like the the like in the past the studio would just like like trust them and like just give them money. And now it's like they really like uh like like overmanage it so like they they put rules on the products. I think Marvel, they like you yeah. can do this, you can do that. So, so they don't really have like like free reign. And then like, as the movie's going, they even like they'll watch like the like what's called the dailies. We saw this shoot, and then they'll be like, "Nah, now nah, we need to go a different direction." And yeah, is- they'll do reshoots and like mess with the script. So, it's so not like before where like if it was bad, it was bad. If it was good, it was good. Now you like like. It's everybody gets like a, like a hand and there's like too many cooks. Yeah, yeah. So then they'll even get some other writer just to just to try like to clean up the script. So a script is not one person or a team. It's like two, three teams. Yeah, well they need to figure it out because movies suck dick. Uh, I haven't seen a good one in a long time. I was thinking I, about that earlier actually. You didn't, you didn't see um, Fast X or Fast Ten? <laughs> no. No, I don't think my feeble little brain could handle such awesome. I'm I'm, I'm actually curious. I'm, I'm like, the idea I was gonna pull the trigger, but I didn't. Like, I want to see like how bad it is or how like over the top. Like, dude, like, they you know, fucking go to space in a Fiero. That was in the last one. Yeah. This one, how I'm much? Under- like, how much more ludicrous could it get? Uh, uh, pardon the pun. Yeah, pardon the pun. Because even you know, even ludicrous isn't ludicrous anymore. It's not that. It's like the, how they break the, like like all the laws of physics. Well, what do you mean, dude? Family. That's a good part. Like when <laughs> like like some car hits you, but the car like it, it doesn't kill you. Like the car bounces off of you. Yeah, you the, the car turns off. into one of those fucking bouncy castles or some shit. Yeah. And totally doesn't blow the suspension. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, one of the main things I hate about watching those movies is n- knowing that they destroy like twenty of those cars. I know. Like some of those cars are fucking. Well, well now it's like CGI, so hopefully. It'll yeah, be able to just... I guess so. I but a lot of those cars, man, like those. Yeah, a lot of those cars are survivor cars, man. I know, and 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 that's why like they have such a huge budget because yeah. they have to cars for. They gotta get destroy they, them. They gotta get like seven chargers and shit. Yeah, and then they start half of them or all of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the other day I was watching a like I guess a mini documentary on YouTube about how they came up with the design for the new Batmobile. Uh huh. I don't know if you've seen the Batman. 
Wow. Or the the one with Vampire Boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen it. Yeah. Well, the Batmobile, and not the coolest Batmobile, but it's a pretty solid one. Well, like, I guess they tried to do like more, like they tried like as a granite more, like not mm-hmm, making like, yeah. like like a huge like 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 the old like in the ninety like 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 with like all the fins sticking out of it. Yeah, no it's like a limo and shit. It's fucking long. It's fucking long. I get it because I want to have like a huge engine, but then like. What's like the fins for it? They're not gonna help you turn. It's aer- you aerodynamics, yeah. bro. Come on. No, but they don't. The fins don't even turn. They're just like. Yeah, well, I mean, just, they're they're there for uh, aesthetic purposes. And yeah, and then, and then for the last Batmobile from on, on our last, I think from Batman and Robin, like the fins, like they look all flimsy, like the, the car was driving, blowing in the wind and shit. Yeah, they're bouncing around as the car was driving on the street, not even like <laughs> a bumpy road or turning. Just down so you could tell, like, they almost like would fall off. Like, calm down, man. <laughs> the tape, the That's tape wasn't good. Dude. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, the like the main thing that they kept saying is like they wanted, they wanted the new Batmobile to look like he built it by himself. Yeah, yeah. That's why like be- a lot of it is very unfinished and like there's a lot of panels and shit missing. Like the paint isn't perfect in every scene that it's in. Oh yeah, because because at this point he doesn't have a he doesn't have a butler. I mean oh, he, he does, but he like doesn't have a uh, he doesn't have Lucius like, Fox. The whole like yeah, Lucius Fox, the whole R and D department. He doesn't have that. So. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully, uh, there's some some juicy movies coming out. Uh, maybe maybe Pet Cemetery will be a good movie. Pet Cemetery has always been pretty decent. I really oh, love the first one. It's a very simple concept. Like, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's hard to mess up. Like, like wh- whoever, like whatever you go and bury that cemetery, like it comes back to life. But like, wh- like with a dark twist. So that's super easy. Like, how can you? How can you? Like, there's no way like to mess it up. Yeah, how on, do you on, fuck that up? Unless you start throwing like a backstory, like, ah, oh, it's because of this, or you know, some nuclear waste fall or something stupid like that, then yeah, you know, like, don't try to make it real or science, just leave it the way it is. Imagine toxic waste, Batman. <laughs> that would be a crossover, oh, fucking dude. Toxic Avenger and Batman. Dude, they, they, you know, Toxic Avenger's coming out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen like the. Like, like the whole trailer they have a trailer or is it a teaser no it's a tra- well it's I call them trailers so they're just, it's a short trailer like it's is it like, a, like, it's like a, a 30 seconds a minute no no it's like a minute something oh it's, so then yeah that's a trailer I, I, I don't know I, it's like, I don't know like cause it looks like it shows old footage but I don't remember I don't remember talking to the Avengers so I don't remember if it's showing old footage or they're just trying to make it look old they might be they might it looks like it's showing footage from the 80s so I'm like are they recycling the old footage from the original one <laughs> but then there's, there's like some new scenes and it's like a lot of gore like I think it, it's like a R-rated trailer and there's blood everywhere it's a red band trailer yeah it's a red band trailer they're trying to go like super gory in this <laughs> one well, they almost, it wasn't really gory it was, it was trauma they, they tried to be gory but yeah yeah it was just like super low it was budget. 80s gory right it was different yeah yeah, I don't know. I I, I don't want to watch anything about it because I don't want to get disappointed before I watch it. You know, I well, want to go into it blind. Come on, like, I doubt it's gonna be as good as the. Oh, as I, the- I I I don't expect it to be. Uh, like OG, but if it's not complete, fucking d- dog shit. Excuse me. If it's not complete dog shit, then I ain't mad at him. Like, I already, have, I already have, like, a huge issue with it, and I don't want to tell you because I don't want to spoil it, but just from seeing some stuff, I already have, like, a huge issue that I'm wondering, like, what the hell is that? And I don't know if you want me to tell you or not because I might ruin it for you. Mm, oh, fuck it, just tell me. Okay, they haven't shown, like, the facts of Avenger, like, oh, only, okay. like, the shadow. Yeah, like, so in, in, the, like. In, the, in the background or whatever, hiding. Yeah. But one thing that irks me, and I hope it's just, like, light hitting you, but I don't think so. Like he, he of course has has his mop right. Mm-hmm. In this one, it looks like the mop has a radioactive glow, and I'm like, why? I think it did originally. I don't think. I think did he just get a uh, mop? Maybe and... maybe not a radioactive glowing, but I'm pretty sure it was like dirty water and green. 
Well, yeah, yeah. It was. It, I remember he, he would kill with it. So he would yeah, like smash yeah. your face and But in this one, like he's hiding, like uh, like in the shadows, and like his mouth is glowing green. It's and I'm like, like it, it, yeah, kind of like that. I'm like, how do you explain that? It, <laughs> it's just like it. It's made of cloth. It, it might be radioactive, but it's not gonna like glow, glow green unless he has something in there. Yeah. You get me? I don't know how to explain that. Maybe it's his toxiges or something. I don't know. Maybe he has like some toxic power that he has to start like shooting like, like lasers and shit. I don't know. I don't know where we're gonna go with this, but I was like, why is it not glowing? Like, Isn't that a thing though? Doesn't that happen? I don't know. Wait, like, doesn't well, he? Doesn't? I don't know. Why. I don't think he glows. Oh, like, no, I'm not gonna the, look it up. I don't want to look it up. I'm not gonna look. It no, up. remember in, in the cartoons? He did yeah, I was gonna part- say the cartoons, but that, I don't think that counts, does it? Like I don't. I, I think when. when I think that when he turned it like the first time, like or, like he was glowing because that was like the two special effects. Yeah. But I don't remember him glowing afterwards. Or all the time after, yeah. Yeah. And of oh. course, I remember his mop. Like, I remember he used his, I thought he can use his mop once, like, kill the first guy. I don't remember if he actually had the mop with him all the time. Well, in the games, he does. <laughs> and in the, car- in the cartoon, he does too, so. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. I don't want to yeah, look anything I, up because the only thing I can think of is like if he has like actual toxic powers and like he tells them like 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 he's he's like like the mob to focus them kind of like like Thor with his hammer. Like, <laughs> that can, would be fucking I can think hilarious. Of that would make it like kind of like that would be hilarious. Or he, it would be funny if they like made fun of Marvel. Like if he goes to like call the mob. And he's like, Ugh, and he's struggling real hard and thinking about it, like trying to use the force or some shit. And then it doesn't, nothing ever happens. And he just gives up like, oh, we don't, I mean, have, that, that cool. we don't have the budget for that or something, you know? Yeah. That would be a trauma style shit. And I wonder how he looks. I wonder if I'm going to make him like as disgusting as the, as, the, as the original one or you got to tone it down and like. I don't know, make it a little more appealing to. Or or he'll wear a mask so you like you don't see him. I don't know. I don't know, man. I think it was crazy thing about it. We had a, an actual cartoon of of, of of fucking like a low budget horror. We actually got a cartoon out of it. That's and crazy. A like, game, so, dude. Yeah, I, ne- I I never knew of a game. I love playing the game, dude, on Sega, bro. That's news to me. I never heard of a game. Yeah, dude, the game was fucking hard too. It was a beat 'em up. Oh, uh, I know. It's funny because the cartoon he was like, he was like, 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 like all fucking deformed. Like, yeah, yeah. He he looked he like sloth, like, but even more fucked up. Yeah, even more deformed. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was called uh, Toxic Crusaders. Yeah, because he had like a like like a bunch of teenagers with him that yeah. he also got them infected, and I think they, they, like, they, he steals them from school or some shit. I don't remember. I don't know. I didn't know that they were all infected. And they all had their they all had powers too, so that was crazy. And everybody was fine with it. Like, yeah, sure. Like, so, reactive kids, no problem. Toxie. Yeah, that's a good one. I totally forgot about the Toxic Avenger. That'll be cool. Oh, and like the new, whenever the new Blade comes out, I'm down to see it. Cause fucking the first Blade was dope as fuck. People sleep on Blade. The first two were awesome. Third one, not so much, but whatever. Dude, I, I don't know. If you remember? Like actually, like like I'm I'm such a big fan of Blade that I actually watched the the TV I don't know series. If you remember. Yeah, two series. It was like I think on on USA Network or yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was on Sci Fi. Yeah, it was. It wasn't so it was, like it didn't have a high budget. And no, no, no. It was terrible yeah. budget. Yeah, I actually kind of liked it. It was okay because it was Blade. So, like, if, if I was okay with that that trash, I, I think unless they really go crap load, like I think I'll I'll like it. Like, I love that they got Sticky Fingers to play Blade though. He's a rapper. Uh, let's hope he does a good job. He, no, no, Sticky Fingers was the TV show Blade. Oh uh, yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I had no idea who he was. To me, he was like I had no idea that guy just, was. Just another guy. Yeah. I didn't like. Yeah, just, I didn't like his look at all. He looked like a dumbass. But whatever. Well, I never I, saw the TV show. 
I didn't give it a chance. Because cause, cause we're so used to Wesley Snipes with, like, chingos of, like, armor and unnecessary, like, like belts and buckles, like... <laughs> Like his armor, his armor looked cool, but it was used as a. Why did he need armor? It like, wasn't really armor either. It was just like stuff to make his pecs look better. Yeah, yeah. Like it didn't well, look it hard like, or anything. It looked soft. Well, it, it was. I guess it. it yeah, well, it was. It wasn't cloth. It was like like leather. Or I guess it was shit. plastic or leather. Yeah, like. A, but it had like a bunch of like, like straps and buckles to strap him into it, like yeah. to make it cool. Maybe it was but a girdle. Yeah, I remember the, that's what, like, like in real life, that's like the fucking bitch to put it on for no protection. I mean, you're fighting vampires, like they're gonna try to like bite your neck or you get me? Yeah. I mean, they're not gonna punch you in the stomach or. <laughs> and the other thing I hate over the first one that that they killed, he could cross. Like, I thought I thought like that was like like. Like he, he should have survived the leash or something. Like yeah, he was, came back in the second. An awesome villain, yeah. He was an awesome villain. Come back yeah. even stronger. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, we're already at that time, so if you're cool, we can end it right there. Uh, hopefully, next week we'll have a full length episode, and the boys will be back. If not, then uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, I want to go ahead and. Give a quick shout out again to my boy Mabolja for showing up. Thank you. Anytime, anytime. Ho- hopefully everybody's uh, doing pretty good. We just got uh, pissed on all damn day with some fucking heavy ass rain. So I can't wait for the mosquitoes tomorrow. Awesome. <laughs> As always, I'm your boy Desecrator and <laughs> get ready for spooky.